Hello and welcome back to some Vampire Survivors. I'm Muche, and since I had nothing specific planned tonight, starting a bit later than usual, I figure, why not? Let's just, let's enjoy a bit, shall we? Also, we've gone back and forth here, start to wonder, or, uh, I'm told some of the voices here are interesting. Hmm. I guess we can worry about that. I've been testing out a few new voices lately, but I don't know. I'm not going to do this one for the stream if you don't like it. Don't worry. I'm just uh, wonder if maybe I should mix things around a bit, but uh, if you're watching this VOD on YouTube or Twitch, you probably want me to get you probably want me to get there right away, right? Well then, I guess I'll uh, just go here. <clears throat> <clears throat> Sorry, I'll stick to my regular voice for the rest. Don't worry. <laughs> but hmm, who knows? All right, let's see here. Who haven't I played as? Oh, did I never properly be it? Oh yeah, I never properly beat white out, did I? Ignores weapon cooldowns and just fires at a weapon intervals. Jail of Crystal. Let's see. Seems like a good one to open up with, I think, so... Actually, I should probably go with Beginning or Mad Groove instead. I have to go with Jail of Crystal. Why not? Give us a clear direction to go with our abilities. Right, I can never stop moving as this character. <laughs> Rune Tracer. Ooh, actually, Garlic may be genuinely worth my time because it reduces freeze and such. Knockback and freeze resistance. And obviously, this build I'm planning to go entirely freeze. Duplicator is absolutely worth my time because that's going to double the. Yeah. Amount is an extremely valuable thing to have. Why not? Buy a few upgrades, have some fun. Spinach is south. I should probably grab that for a free level of it. Since I grabbed it by accident. But yeah, we're gonna have to go for the full ice weapons here. These guys are a little durable than I was expecting. Yeah, as nice as more of the would be, I do need to keep this leveling up. Uh, my weapons here. Level 2. 
Silver Wind is nice, but I think I can go without it. I should probably go for the, uh... Four Seasons might not be too bad, but the uh, main one I want... Yeah, Rune Tracer I definitely want here. Upgrades, but I can still lose if I'm not careful, so I need to be very careful. I don't need Empty Tone because I ignore uh, cooldown. I just have to always be moving. Duplicator. Gonna really help here. More clones, more, uh, fired projectiles. <laughs> I think this is it here. Hmm. If I win this one, I might try removing my upgrades and doing another map. Any map will do. level. Garlic sounds good to me. And the nice thing about garlic is it also protects you from projectiles. I can't get all these as much as I'd like to. I'll just have to hope for an all. Rune Tracer up. I'll just have to hope for a attract orb item drop, I guess. I also need the attract orb period to upgrade my starting weapon. Missile. That's another ice one that can freeze foes. I need the crown. I probably should have gotten that first, if we're honest, but. I'm missing a lot of uh, item accessories for Blunt. Oh, she's fighting herself now. Trust no one, not even yourself. Yeah, this place is definitely clearly... The fact these guys drop light source things makes it clear they're intended to help you get the, uh... Time warp thingies. by the meats. Oh, there it is.
My damages might be a little low. Ooh, mad season. Let's grab him. Tracer maxed. Just a free level of prismatic missile? I think that's fine. Should have some decent enough ones ready for upgrades. It's just a matter of uh, actually getting them. the silver winds, but I have to get the pomerola anyways. Yeah, discard this. I don't need a cursed item for this run. Golems are going to be a little painful. Oh, right. I missed the item that I need to upgrade my base. Uh, oh, dear. That's a little painful. Yeah, I forgot. Uh, I guess it's been a while since I played. Huh. I don't think I have an idea for the next session, at the very least. Sadly, it's a little too expensive to get a live 2D for uh, additional characters, so if I... <laughs> it gets told the voice works well, I might not be able to use it for a specific character, but... I guess we'll have to see. Oh, perfect! This is what I want. Oh. Oh. Just a Pomerola. I mean, it's not bad, don't get me wrong. It's just not my favorite. specifically ice, but you know what, it, I already have the item to upgrade it, so let's do it. This also makes a nice get away from me uh, move. Oh. Oh, wow. 
I accidentally grabbed it, but you know what? It's not bad. boost by the spear. I need to get prismatic missile up sooner rather than later, if at all possible. And I guess maxing out spinach also helps, since you know that's all damage up. The no future. And this is a very significant upgrade to my damage output, which is good because these golems are very, very durable. find more things to talk about, although I will s but I guess it, I guess the point was to be a chill night tonight, so maybe it's fine if I'm a little quieter. I do like this character because she completely changes how you play, yeah. rather than just being a, an upgrade every few levels, she just completely changes the game. Okay, now the Prismatic Missile can also be upgraded, which is good because that's really strong and really helpful. Uh, it's a shame I don't have the aggro ability to draw enemy aggro to my clones, but it's fine. Alright, 15 minutes I believe is when the final boss comes here, so... Yeah, this caliber is probably not going to upgrade in time, I'm going to be honest here. I think that should be fine. Based on amount, and I have a decent amount of amount, so you know what, let's go with that. Now I've got a pretty strong damage aura. I made sure not to take any curse items, so there shouldn't be... Well, there's less enemies, they are so aren't as strong, so I'm hoping I'll make the difference. He has caliber. I 
Ah, oh, the Kizune is here. The Kizune is here. It's a little hard to see the Excalibur smacks. Unfortunately, yeah, this is really hard to see and because those are white slashes in a snowy vista. I need to get as much XP as possible. got myself killed. Technically I have a revival, yes, but that's not something I want to be using up now. These guys have a lot of HP. I might be able to, I should be able to kill one before it's over though. Tell me it's an upgrade. No, no, it's not. Trying to count and the thing are there. I'm not sure why they're not upgrading. I guess it must be specifically a boss one that's needed, yeah. HP and uh, my damage output is nowhere as good as it could be.
we're just gonna relax tonight. And that means, um, being, uh, always floor chicken where possible, yeah. That's giving up on a decent amount of gains for that, but I think it's worth it just because I want to actually win this round. boss appears to be immune to freeze. The Reaper is not, which is hilarious. Unfortunate, but yeah, it looks like I, uh, I just didn't have the damage output. But that's still a win. That's still a win. Actually, yeah, power up. Alright, refund all, because... I'm gonna do a fresh run here. I'll still technically have the eggs, but... Lake Fiskari. Alright, let me take a sip of my drink and we'll dive into this one then with the same character and see how I do without all my up precious upgrades. Will I still make it? Or is her playstyle a bit too much for me? Oh right, let me turn off our Kanas as well. They absolutely can and will compensate weaknesses, so... Alrighty, let's relax and head on it to uh, this. No future still wouldn't be too bad, I don't think. Lightning ring isn't too bad either. Oh, she inherently gets three rolls, huh? You know what? Let's go for the spell strum. Oh my. Light sources. I forgot to turn off the roulette, but honestly, the roulette can hurt me just as well as it can help me, so I think we're in good shape, honestly. The Four Seasons is acceptable. Since the spell storm doesn't require, isn't too heavy on accessory needs, I can afford to uh, focus on them elsewhere. I'm definitely not going to say this is all- I'm also definitely not going to say this is the only game that could do well with this genre. A decent amount come out. Some seem okay, but I guess I haven't tried any yet. Some are also- a bunch are also in early access, and as mentioned, I kind of want to minimize is how much I uh, purchase games that are in early access. Ooh, Spell Strike. Part 2 is here. Nothing against them, plenty of them have, but not all of them work out. It's kind of a crapshoot. Not to mention those ones like Seven Days to Die. I did enjoy playing that with my buddies, but at the same time, that's also a bit of a special case because, well, I was playing it with friends. A lot of things are significantly more imp significantly improved when you're playing with friends. So. 
could play it a bit more solo to see how I feel there, but I don't know. It has, it is still getting updates, so I'm not gonna sit here and say they, it's an abandoned early access game, but I don't know. There's a bunch on there that even get ex paid expansions while they're still in early access, which yeah, I think is a good sign they never intend to leave it. Because there definitely are some there that are only in early access because the convenient excuse of, well, you have to temper your criticism because the problems can still be fixed. Which, I mean, and that's technically not wrong, it's just also very... Uh, Raj robe. Yeah, yeah, I should probably head over to get the uh, clovers for luck here. Ooh, wonderful. I don't care what this is, a free level of anything is nice. Here we are. This is gonna be a bit tricky. Yeah, without my precious upgrades, it's a really difficult to play this particular character, but I think I can do it. Keyword being, uh, keyword being think. At least the good news is ignoring the cooldown means the spell strum will be active a bit more frequently than usual, as long as I keep moving, of course. Spell strike. Good, they left this area alone so I can grab these. There we go, that's fine. Anything upgrade, anything upgrade. Good for me. Good enough for me. Spell strike. Flames of misspell, no. Duplicator, yes. I already got the achievement for killing all those Sammy, the characters, so I'm not going to waste too much time doing so here. If you, if you play this game and haven't gotten it yourself, there's basically there's a secret area in this place where you can, basically they're the only enemy that spawns, so you can get it pretty quickly. Oh, wonderful. Hold on, buddy, I gotta, yeah, there we are. Yes, more pre free levels and stuff, please. I really, really need it if I want to survive what's coming. Spinach. Ideal. Spell string, if you please. Well, at least there's a few. This is a bit of a break since they can't, uh. They don't actively attack me. I mean, they'll damage me if I touch them, but. Yeah, see. Mirage Robe, level 4.
Keep going with the Mirage Robe. Can't be doing that. Spell string. Yeah, they almost ascended, so now we're at the regular enemies again. Alright, but a little more luck. Hopefully this will get some more uh, preferable items from light sources than just simple coins. That's... Oh, wonderful, that's <laughs> ideal. Candelabrador. Okay, I needed that. Yeah, all my upgrades and... Yeah, all my upgrades being gone also means I have zero revives if I should accidentally get myself killed. Ah, uh. uh, yeah. I guess that's a bit tricky since I'm so heavily reliant on the upgrades. I still don't want to get the upgrades back, so first, let's try someone new here. Sayuto. Has a hidden knight sword and morphs to a stronger version. You know what? Let's go with him, and let's go on an old school one. Let's see here. Actually, which ones have I won with him so far? Just in Laid Library? Um, in that case, let's go to the Mad Forest. I still want to keep random events because that can easily hinder me as much as help, as you saw there, so let's go with that. Silver wind. Okay, that was what I wanted to do there. Alright, it's the duplication ring that upgrades it, right? Yes, it is. So I should probably also grab the uh, lightning ring so I can become Zeus as well. taking some getting used to here. Oops. Oh. <laughs> Still, I I actually blame the uh, well, I was dumb, but I also blame the roulette for that. But that's why I decided to allow it because it allows me to die horribly by mistake. Pretty good music, too. Oh, but I need to go back up to get these uh, XP crystals. I guess I could get the armor and the no future this run. I still want the Silver Wind as well, I need stuff that hits close to me.
I'm not usually a fan of the armor since my damage isn't especially, but I, at the same time, I guess uh, I still do take, as I obviously still take hits, especially since I don't have any movement speed upgrades or anything, so, hmm. Crown's probably worthwhile just to speed up my leveling process because I really need to get these weapons up in order to really benefit. Really, nothing. Yeah, these enemies are a lot faster than I thought they'd be. Chicken Bonanza. I think that's really going to help me out. Summon that. Okay, good. The Summon Knight's hitting a lot more now. I guess those. I guess. I would have, let's talk about what I have planned next. But I guess we're watching the VOD here. You probably can look up ahead to see what's new. Ooh, a tract orb. Please, please, yes. There we are. Yeah, this is absolutely essential. Holy crap. Yes, please. It's an extremely tiny AoE, but a helpful AoE all the same. Summon Knight up. More frequency, I think. Yeah. I need to get as many levels as I can, because the start having them. The Mantis is going to come at five minutes, and these Skelly Boys aren't too bad, but they're going to be even more numerous at around 11 minutes. Overwind up. That should help out a good bit. Ghosty boys are coming in. Here we go. As nice as the Mirage Resolve, the Summon Knight is far more important. My speed is actually a problem. I should have gotten the wings.
Now my my mistake was the movement speed here. Let's see, where is his movement speed actually? Mm, yeah, minus nineteen percent. He's inherently pretty slow. I could do this. I think I just got some poor RNG. Stuff like getting the Excalibur early on doesn't really help me. And with no rerolls, there's nothing I can really do. It's a bit RNG, but that's the situ that's how roguelikes typically are. So it's on brand for that. Passes through enemies. Since this, yeah, since this stage has a lot of enemies that are sh sheer, they try to overwhelm with sheer numbers, some piercing damage should actually be really helpful. Rune Tracer. Level it up. Make it stronger. Goes off in a random direction, which is not ideal, but... A King Bible or a Garlic would be fine. I don't mind the Garlic being small because I could upgrade. The problem is I got it a bit too late last time, I think. Although I guess the wings would be the most helpful thing in the general sense. Yes, crown, please. upgrade the sword with again. I don't pick it up very often. Gold mask. It's a bit dangerous since it damages me to use. I guess I don't have to upgrade it. the summon knight. I go super saiyan once my thing upgrades and my movement speed and all that does actually go up if I remember right. I could also simply choose the character who starts with the super mode active and yeah I remember how I said ah oh, shoot. Oh no 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 no. Oh uh, yeah I remember how I said the uh, garlic can block projectiles. Those, that's actually pretty helpful. Just be this isn't a particularly ideal uh, situation for him, so I'll still give him a try, but I'll, on a different map. Yeah, this is super mode. As you can see, it goes from negative speed to plus speed. Even gets a boost to greed. Oh wow! Let's go with Gallo Tower. Yeah, this, uh, this movement speed might be a little bit of a problem, as I realize. If I go for the spell string, I have to go with the whole set. I'm not sure I want that. Oh, 
amount effects damage instead. Hmm. The problem is this keeps firing forward and I keep having to run away, so spells maybe I should go for a spellstrom. That was worth a try. <sighs> Perhaps trying one of the new characters is overthinking it. Actually, I haven't used Poe in quite a while. So let's go. Classic character in a classic stage. Oh nice, this is some good range. Enemies aren't quite tough yet, so it should be good, I think. Theoretically, get a really big upgrade if I know what I'm doing there, but it's gonna be a bit iffy. I've seen some refer to this genre of game as bullet heaven of sorts. It's basically, I can kind of get where they're getting that, since in a way it does feel kind of like you're the bullet hell boss and the enemy. These are just trying to overwhelm you with sheer numbers, since, well, that's all they can really do. Come on, whip it. Whip it good. Here we are. Alright, spell string it is. I'm a bit iffy on the flash arrow, if we're honest. It's not awful, don't get me wrong. It's just, it's one of those weapons that really only shines when you get its upgrade. Because the millionaire, especially if you're playing character with high read, that can clear entire screens on its own. But before that, it's basically just one big arrow that flies through everything. Useful as pretty much anything with pierce damage, because again, this whole game is about uh, being by tons of foes, but at the same time... Spells... Ooh, excellent, a wave of them. I guess I should probably get some spinach for some boost damage to everything. Every bit counts now that I have no more attack upgrades. Bat swarms themselves aren't particularly threatening. The issue is that they push, have a likelihood of pushing something actually threatening towards you. Ah, is this really the best you could do, game? Oh yeah, like I said, the garlic seems 
It was like a weapon that falls off, but the fact it can protect from projectile stuff is really huge. And yeah, I know not very many enemies in this game have projectiles, but... Whenever they do, they can absolutely affect a run like this, as seen by how they easily took out my last one. It's the Hollow Heart upgrade, right? Hmm. I guess if they do another expansion, hopefully they add a bit more to give the Hollow Heart a bit more value. They certainly made a lot of the other, the less here used items feel a lot more, yeah, I definitely want this. I definitely want this now, or this upgrade is definitely appealing enough to consider it. Whereas before, that was significantly more up in the air. Like, don't get me wrong, movement speed is great, but the Valkyrie Tuner is usually more for specific builds, it feels like. But it won't affecting to the time stuff hers entirely. Yeah. That's another matter. So I guess thinking about it, it might have actually been a huge risk to try and get a spell strum because I can't exactly guarantee I'll be able to get the third and final part. It's already shown up once, so I'm hoping that means it'll show up again. Ah, perfect. There we are. Alright, now that we have the weapons here, I think we might have a chance. Definitely need to get the whip going. I think I don't remember if I mentioned it. Oh, okay, kind of makes me think of Deckard. I'm no most know from Diablo, but I ended up playing Heroes of the Storm and met him there first, so. Silly me, right? Well, then again, I guess the point of Heroes of the Storm was to introduce you to characters you may not necessarily know. The thing about crossovers like that and Smash Bros and such is they're, they do, while well, they do are really nice crossovers, they also in part are there for advertising, so. And that's not inherently bad, but it's something you need to be, at least be aware of. So yeah, rest assured, I have absolutely nothing, I'm not gonna say anything against them. Especially since it's not like fans don't often ask for crossovers. So in a way, it's a mutually beneficial thing. More garlic, more garlic, more garlic. Yeah, getting these green this should help me level a bit faster. Yeah, I have nothing to fear from these projectiles, thanks to garlic. I probably have something to fear from that, though. Yeah, the problem is the green zombies are significantly more durable than the usual ones, so I cannot get cocky. They can and will wreck my health. <laughs> Rather, they'll delete it all off the face of the earth. They'll obviously devastate me. That's the word I should be using. Yeah, we're starting to get, no, I'm on, I can't say this is starting to the point of the damage is falling off. It's because, as I said, the green zombies are especially more durable. Because look at how fast these others are dying. It's absolutely the exception, not the rule. Ah. Yeah, with the garlic, those bats are a huge boon, if not a penalty. Well, if I can hit them first. Anyways. Yeah, those guys are way more durable than they have any right to be. Here we are. Guess the armor to survive a little better is nice, but... Oh yeah, like I said, they're gonna push something dangerous to you.
I need to get those gems, but they're really far away. Oh crap, a bull rush, bull rush, bull rush. I can't. Those are actually du too durable. Track door, please. Clearly having an issue with range. Collection range is... Oh, I hate those big bats. They are far more durable than they have any right to be. Light sources. Don't care about the money. Not a single uh, health among them. Mild disappointment. Perfect. That was exactly what I needed. I still don't want to get hit, but at least I now have some breathing room if I mess up at any point. And there will be lots of messing up, I can assure you of that. Scorpion's Lair. Hollow Heart. Perfect. That's exactly what I needed. Shoot. Yeah, I mentioned how much I don't like these bats. They're significantly more durable than they have any right to be. Alright, ten minutes. The boss here. luck, I suppose. Oh, goes from really buff to completely anemic. Interesting skin options. Oh yeah, I still have Christine as her, uh, in her Sailor Moon outfit. I'm probably gonna regret it, but you know what, let's do it. And in the, uh, what hasn't she done yet? She hasn't done the Gallo Tower, and I barely did much there, so let's go there. <laughs> Spell string, I suppose it is. Oh yeah, she has actual movement speed. I forgot. She starts with a free extra level to be sure you have more, because you know you can't kill enemies with the uh, pentagram. That just deletes all items at level one with no chance of not having them deleted. Not a particularly ideal setup, but it works. Hmm. I guess I was just lucky when I won doing this with Antonio before. And for the record, I did not disable the golden egg buffs. I can, I just didn't feel like it because I don't have very many on it. I only have a, on a, a decent amount on a handful of characters. Crap. 
Oh wow, they're carrying that thing on their backs, basically. Because I know they don't move normally. Ow. Wow. I know I've done this before. I'm just a little embarrassed that I'm doing so poorly now. Well, maybe I should try one of the expansion characters then. Yeah, Eleanor's only been to the... Uh, also for the new one, so let's go. Introduction to Sorcery. Yeah, I'm gonna stick to garlic if we're honest. Roll, oh, two re-rolls even. Hmm. Yeah, I think this is gonna help a lot. Let's find out if Eleanor does better with no upgrades. Spell stream, yes please. The sooner I get the spells from the better. That spell gets stronger the more it activates. I kinda would've preferred that a little later, but... Shrimp swarm. Silver Wind. I need to be careful, I can't heal nearly as easily without my upgrades. I'll turn them back on later, don't worry. But I need to remember what it's like to go without them. And indeed, I haven't even played any of these expansion characters without them before, so I think I'm glad I took a night to do so. Plus, I got one win off already, so it's not like I didn't uh, make some progress on the beats levels with people. Well, I guess I don't even have to justify it, honestly. It's just whatever I feel like, right? Dunno. I guess I kind of feel like I'm not obligated to a some degree. I will say I should probably be looking at a handful of these things here. Ooh. Uh, base area up for the garlic. Yes, please. Oh dear. I used to mostly record with Twitch Studio because my old computer, for some reason, OBS wouldn't work for half the damn games. However, I've s mo it's been a while since I've been at my new computer, so I did download it. I just haven't used it, if we're honest. I'm not sure why, I guess I just haven't, I guess I'm just a lot, I guess just a bit easier because I already know how Twitch 2 and all that works. I might experiment on it with the OBS uh, thing. Spell strike. Lawless. Now I can get whatever I want for the last weapon. The Medusa Swarm. I'm not too worried about the Medusas, if we're honest. Ooh. Right, I forgot this character will automatically get all of their, uh... Spell, all of their upgrades for the spells from as they level up. Now granted, because I already have them, this does mean I get a few free levels, therefore I don't have to worry about it, but... This also means I can completely load up my, uh, Inventory with items and not worry about it. Then again, again, I have zero upgrades, so... Ooh, Empty Tome, Empty Tome, Empty Tome. So, this might actually be relevant for me. That is, it might actually be worthwhile for me to, uh get redundant upgrades just to level them faster because I am not at all powerful without them. I have to actually go through the uh, system. Uh. And I definitely want to upgrade the garlic because I know that it can clear out skeletons once it's powered up enough. 
And at 11 minutes, we get a billion skelly boys that I really can't afford to not be able to cleave through immediately. Oh yeah, and because of the, uh, oh shoot, I can't be taking damage like that. And yeah, of course, because of my garlic, I'm now protected from the projectiles. I guess the magic wand is fine. This means I'll either get weapon upgrades or accessories, and that's it. The, the weapon pool cannot give me anything until the spellstrom is completely upgraded. Trick of the sorcery. I guess it has been a while since I mentioned a Pathfinder uh, adventure, but then again, I kind of I kind of debate if I even want to. Ooh, perfect! Two items. Something that upgrades two items. And it also means I'm no longer uh, a sitting duck at low HP, even if it still will take a while to heal. Uh, but yeah. <clears throat> oh, that's... I kind of hesitate to talk too much about, but just because, well, I don't know how much interest there is, but... You know what? We can't wait for upgrades. We need as many... We need regular weapon upgrades to live. There we are. I do know uh, some people I even watch do 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 a play some tabletop things on stream, but but we don't record our sessions or anything. I just uh, we did consider it early on, but I didn't really. But we did consider it at some point, but it already started by then, and I felt eh, I guess it's inevitable to act differently when you know you're being recorded versus not. And I don't mean that as a criticism or anything. It's just how people often act here. I need to start playing up the character more for my own streams, if only so that I can you know, feel like I have a bit more or of a theme or personality to it, but that's just my opinion. It's not a be-all end-all. Oh yeah. I guess this resetting all my stuff really does show just how big of a deal it is to have... Uh, oh, wonderful. To have movement speed versus not movement speed. Holy crap, this is so much easier now that I actually have movement speed. I guess one thing did happen recently that's worth talking about is my character had to do a duel. And for the record, my character is a elemental sorcerer in Pathfinder 1E. So... It was against a Kelpie, and I learned out after the fact that was a really bad idea, because they have a mind control ability. Uh, how can I break this? If you don't play tabletop, basically if a character... If your character gets mind controlled, most spells will usually have you roll regularly to see if you can snap out of it. And if it makes you do something self-destructive, like, you know, jump off a cliff to your doom, you usually get a save for that. Or at least that's what I've noticed. Uh, this doesn't have that. I don't have any things if I fail the initial save. So that was, um, interesting to learn. So as it turns out, 1v1, I... Oh, shh, damn it! <gasps> Pushed all those things into me, and I couldn't kill them in time. <sighs> well, I'm alive, and that's what matters. But yeah. It's, it's, it's listed as permanent. It looked up later, and a, the duration is, is listed as permanent. As long as the thing lives or is within one mile. Which, uh... That seems a lot larger than usual. <laughs> damn it! Yeah. Yeah, the roulette does that. But you know what? I actually think I would have won there. So you know what? I'm going to give it another go. Damn, I'm going to win here with one of these characters. But this does highlight that you can't get cocky, I guess. Because I was doing genuinely well. I was pretty confident I'd win. And then, boom. Uh, none of these are good. Attract orb, attract orb, attract orb. Oh, this is going to be such a godsend to have this, to effectively start with this. I won't buy any of the... Uh, or was golden eggs? Uh, I don't mind the four seasons, honestly. The 
Four Seasons is actually fairly strong. It's just they're a bit tricky to aim. So I am not at all worried. Oh, yeah. Good news, however, is my character is, uh, I guess level 7 right now. So when I fought it, it was actually a very easy fight. Long story short, since it was a water creature, I had absolutely no idea if, uh... Right. I genuinely had no idea if uh, it would resist water, fire, or both. And that's... Aside from Fireball, which, holy crap, no wonder there's so many memes around how amazing it is. Everything I learn about it, it uh, makes me wonder why I need to cast anything else. Well, looks like I found out a good reason to cast something else, because, well... Pathfinder 1E lets an elemental sorcerer change it to the element you choose. Uh, if it resists both fire and water, there's nothing I can do there, so... But I did have Empower Spell from the Bloodline, so basically I can increase it the... I can basically upcast, make a spell stronger at a certain cost. I end up playing it safe there. And surprisingly, the battle was actually very easy, and as I just said, I was playing it safe. I just got cast Magic Missile to make it, uh, stronger, because Magic Missile can't- literally can't miss. Not unless they have a skill that specifically says it blocks it, so, uh, that was something. Spinach. Damn it. Yeah, not having an aura is really, really noticeable. I'll say that much. There's a reason I favor it where possible. Damn it, I was doing so well that run. I even had a, uh... I need the Pummerola here, aren't I? I'll just have to remember to go after the items it upgrades. Mm, but yeah. I can't believe for once I willingly chose Pummerola because it's available and not because, uh, you know, it, uh... Upgrade something I have. But yeah. So basically, I played it safe using a weaker but impossible to dodge or avoid, a possible to block or dodge spell. And it was actually over very quickly. So, <laughs> that was neat. But it also meant that if I had failed that will save at the top, I would have lost immediately because uh, uh, I, my character would be given the order to die and I don't even get a save against that afterward. Now, the good news is magic users have a good uh, save path, but... And I get the distinct impression I might have accidentally killed the party if, I had, if that had happened. Although afterward I was told that was a bit normal, simply because, um, casters have a lot of AoE and damage output. Monsters are usually able to take it, but players, uh, a bit less. I mean, sure, they're squishy, but most players won't want to kill their teammate just to avoid the damage output. I can see situations why that might be necessary, but I imagine that's also a last resort, you know? So yeah, the good news, it was a very easy fight. Bad news, that was entirely because I got past the gimmick. Shit. This is a really awful... Uh, yeah, I'm not getting at all lucky with this. I hate it. I do not like this build whatsoever. I can't even upgrade the Four Seasons anymore. No, I can, but I have to get the Candelabra. I cannot get anything else. So if I get three accessories and they're not the Candelabra, I'm boned. Spell String. Wow, it took forever to level up the Spell String. I do not like this. I cannot stand this build, but... That's, this is the kind of thing I had to open myself up to when I took this. But yeah, take the lesson from me. Never 1v1 a Kelpie. <sighs> Truth be told, part of me did know going in it was going to be really stupid to try and solo fight like that, but... 
Uh, my character is admittedly a very ambitious type of person, so well, it makes sense they'd want, want to take a risk for great power. And make no mistake, that was a high risk, high reward, because I did get some very lovely uh, toys from that victory. So it was absolutely worth the risk, it's just, uh... <laughs> well, bluntly, if I failed, I would never get another chance. I would have just been straight up dead, and even the GM admitted they have a very hard time even thinking of a way for me not to die, so... Well... Let's just be glad it worked out, huh? Let me tell you a secret. I knew going in there was a more than likely there was a highly likely chance my character could die and I might not be able to I might just have to deal with that. So I spent about the week panicking and deciding, you know what? Uh, this is what she do is she's extremely ambitious. This it's a huge risk, she'd be very confident, so I went for it. I did not, however, know it would screw over the party. I don't know how I didn't, honestly. I should have realized that when it happened. And if it helps, I guess it wasn't purely because uh, my character was ambitious. She kept her alive for because of the ambition, but it was also because my character was um, kind of under contract with that Kelby to uh, to drown people on a regular basis. Naturally, I was able to get around it uh, by drowning uh, game, some creatures for food and such for the party, which did work out rather well. But it also means I constantly have be reminded that there's a voice is in my head saying to kill. I believe that the, the oh crap. Um but yeah. So there was absolutely a reason to it beyond just ambition. I imagine if I really pushed for it I might have gotten to have some help for it, but that would have mean uh giving up the rewards for it, and make no mistake, these rewards are very, very fun, so... Yeah. Crap, not ideal, not ideal. That is not a very good light source. Okay, increased space there. Oh, wonderful, that was good luck. <sighs> I guess... Uh, well, how does I say? No... Pain, no gain, no risk, no reward. Still, it is kind of interesting from a story perspective, because the fact my character won extremely handily, even with the re significantly reduced damage to play it safe, shows that she really was significantly more powerful than the one trying to hold her to contract. The only thing they had was that gimmick, and once that's through, they had nothing. Even being a squishy caster didn't matter too much because, well, I had preparation. Bit of mage armor here. Her mirror images here for additional targets. I think I only took one hit the entire time. I had like 44 HP max and took 8 damage in total from that fight, so... Might have been more even if I didn't take advantage of my pre-buffing options. Damn you, bats! Uh, well, thanks. At least they gave me a... De good demonstration for crap. 
for how would they easily shove far more threatening things over to you, even if though they themselves will barely do anything. Oh, this is not ideal. Yeah, I'm living the roulette on because it really does hurt me as much as it helps, as you can see. All that set of skulls did was make things easier for the enemies. Uh, I'm still absolutely confident I would have won the last one, but I guess that's how it goes. Ooh, that's chicken. But the question is, can I get past the uh, creatures for that? Yes, I can, as it turns out, but no, I can't. Oh, phew. We're still in the game. We're still here. We're still in. It's not over yet. But I'm leveling extremely slowly, and I have very few ways of getting things close to me to keep away, playing keep away, like I usually do. Um. Now here we are, like I said, 11 minutes of Skelly Boys get here, and I, I have enough damage output, I just don't have enough... Yeah. <laughs> I absolutely need something to... Oh, right, I have a revival. There is absolutely no question. I need something to cover me like that. Yeah, it's not dealing enough damage like I was hoping. Yeah, that's that's the end of that. Could go with Miang, who is also a an expansion character. Steve Breeze. All right. Pentagram is a really, really big crapshoot. On one hand, it can save me, but on the other, it can also be a problem. King Bible's good, but it absolutely it needs levels. At the same time, though, yeah, King Bible it is. It's still a favorite, after all. It's just going to be a little bit more tricky now. Spellstrom. It's a bit of a crapshoot because I need to get all parts, but we'll see. Jelly Wall. Character's probably really good for this, actually, simply because uh, her effect is that she gains more max HP if she heals while already at max life. I should probably get this just a level quicker. It is annoying because I do not have the, uh, what's it called? Three le Ooh, that's actually really, really good. It's gonna really speed up my leveling. Pomerola, wonderful. Any heals, I get to increase my max HP, which of course means I have a bigger cushion. And since the default weapon does, in fact, have the ability to, uh, to help out, that really makes it easier. Silver Wind, level 2.
spell strike. I can't miss these, unfortunately, because I know if they just, they may not show up again, or at least not until after. And if you don't get the spell strum, you'll find them significantly less impressive. So I don't want to risk it. Jelly Wall. It's really loves Jelly Wall today. Hmm. Hollow Heart, I guess, is fine. Might as well go full survival mode since I've had a lot of issues with that lately. I still sometimes barely win without any upgrades. With upgrades, so without, of course, I should realize I should realize I struggle. Well, no matter. Take a step at a time, step at a time. No risk, no reward. Spell strum, spell string, I mean. Good, 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 good. If I can get the King Bibble going, that's really going to help me out. We need to clean this. Yeah, there's a lot of games that are ma making their own bullet. Uh, bullet Heaven, I guess, would be the way to put it. Mm. But yeah. This one's the one that's stuck around for a number of reasons. I can only guess why. It does have the... Yeah, I will say it does definitely go for the casino kind of appeal. In fact, they even mentioned interview stuff that is genuinely inspiration for it, just with no actual casino mechanics and stuff, so that uh, there's no risk. Which, as someone who's played gotcha games, I appreciate that. Spinach, please. We need power. We need damage. I'm absolutely loading my. Actually, man, I could get four seasons now, and this would be ideal. After all, this. Uh, I do think the festive winds works as a keep away. Plus, I have a King Bibble here, which also, which is the main one. All right. I also need to get the item that makes King Bibble permanent. Either that or the empty tome, since the cooldown reduction can effectively make it permanent after a point. Either one is fine. Okay, Festive Winds is max, Silver Wind is max, I can upgrade to Festive Winds as soon as I get Pomerola leveled. Oh yeah, the King Bibble is also very good at blocking projectiles, so that's also quite nice. Alright, so I need the Spellbinder, or I can forego that and simply go for uh, a Duplicator. 
I get one other weapon, but I absolutely need to get this final Spellstrom component at the last one before I move on, because that is absolutely going to be key to winning this run. Yeah, this character has a really good passive and also has a really good starting weapon, so it makes sense this would go easier. Here we are, spell- ooh, both of them. Spell stream first, because it is absolutely essential I get this weapon going. It's still a while before I can upgrade it, but it doesn't matter. Having all the components is what matters most. King Bibble level? Sounds good to me. Oh yeah, we got a lot more copies of it now. Here we are. Uh, spell stream. Yeah, I need to get the spell stream sooner rather than later. The, the success of this run entirely banks on getting it. Alright, come on, let's go. Oh, wonderful. That's the most ideal thing I could have gotten. Spell strike. Ah, damn you, bats. Bat swarm. The worst part is they're not even vampire bats. The bestiary confirms it. Granted, it also claims that there are no such thing as ghosts and that the ghosts we fight are just figments of imagination. But figments of your imagination can hurt too, so probably best fight them. I guess it does have a nice sense of humor, this game. Oh, whoops, whoops, whoops. Oh, dear, dear, dear. Oh wow, that worked. Hummerola level up, good. Yeah, the base game's uh, weapon upgrades don't really require you to, uh... Spellbinder. Yeah, let's do that. They don't usually require you to level up the accessory that levels up the weapon, just the weapon itself. But the expansion ones all do. As well as the ones added after from future updates, if I remember right. So.
Here we go. Yeah, this is why I needed all these. King Bible upgrades are huge because they're the only thing that's going to keep me alive through all this. See, yeah, see, exactly. Oh, man. Huh. I've seen some other. I guess we're wondering about the voice thing. I have seen some other VTuber stuff have a handful of characters they use in different voice for each. I also wondered if the one I have right now matches the character particularly well, but I don't know. I'll probably just look at the VOD myself and decide if I want to even try having a dream with the different voice. Pomerola up. Yeah, look at all that. These skelly boys are really scary when, when due to sheer numbers if your damage isn't particularly high like it was before. But uh, as it is now... Oh yeah, my max health has been going up a decent amount thanks to the effect. They're a huge boost of experience. Ah, werewolves. This is a bit more tricky now though because werewolves... Uh, they're significantly more durable. Less numerous, but more individually powerful. Come on. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Spell string. Here we go, we're in good shape now, I think. A green reaper, oh balls, that's not good. Uh, the ghosts are doing precisely what the bats were. Pushing dangerous things closer to me. Uh, this is really bad, but none of them are any good, so... I guess Shadow Servant, just so I have something else attacking regularly. I can fix it a bit once I get the spells from proper, since that frees up two more weapon slots for me to use. Spell string. Spell string. This is not good. <gasps> Perfect! <clears throat> Excellent, I think I might have just saved the run. Starting to get to the end here. Actually, no, we're only halfway through, right? This is a 30 minute one. That's fine. This one's tough, but I'm starting to catch keep up, I think. And look, I've already regenerated thanks to all my upgrades. Yeah, this character is definitely good for this kind of run. Gonna have to run through and take some damage. Oh, 
cooldown reduce for spell strike. Come on, books. Throw the book at him. String are all the maxed. No, one is not. Yeah, I can't afford to hold off on this. Ah, unholy vespers. That's gonna be a huge godsend. Finally, a bit of a keep away. A much better keep away. Spell stream. Good. There we go. Spell strum. Oh, yeah. I think we might have just finally salvaged the run. I can't get cocky, of course, but we managed to make it. I need to upgrade the Pomerola twice before I can upgrade the Festive Winds, I think. So you know what? Yeah, let's just go with that. Ooh. Lucky. Guess the game also agrees I should win this run. Is that really all I can get? I really don't want the pentagram. Lightning ring is absolutely far from ideal, especially since I can upgrade it, but it's not awful, I guess. Well, whatever, I can get the bloody tear at least. Which also has a chance of giving me health, so. At the very least, I can make sure I live. And at the end of the day, that's the that's the point of contention, isn't it? Oh yeah, I forgot I had the spinach. I've never been upgrading it all this time. Swarm. I can kill those easily now, at least. Every time it does that, that spell gets stronger, and that's only going to help me more and more. This is definitely not as much as can't see shit, Captain, as the game can get, but. Feeling pretty good. Uh, 
Let's just max out the crown so that I can get my full gains. It only goes up by one, but that's fine. That adds up over a whole run, as you can see. 500 is ridiculous. Even at max upgrades, I have very, very few characters who reach that. Most have around 200 to 300, depending on their starting HP, so... Yeah. Hello, heart. Eh, why not? 699, yeah. I've got a pretty good cushion. Uh, don't take that out of context. The whip's not doing much for me, I don't think, but, you know, why not? I'm already having a very difficult time dying. I might as well add life steal to make myself completely unkillable. This is a 30 minute run, so we still have 10 minutes to go. Ah, the big meaty claws have arrived. Yeah, I think it was a good idea to keep the roulette on. It's probably been a bigger pain than it was worth, but it has just as much saved me as well, so it's a crapshoot, a mixed blessing. I might as well max out the spinach just to make sure everyone, everything's damage is as high as I can get. I guess that's alright. That does mean my fire breath will last a little longer too, which is always nice. Oh no. I think it only affects things that start that go after it. Well, that's fine. So having the spellstrom last a little longer just means that it can clear things up a bit between singularities. I think they call it. Alright, the whip is at max level, so that upgrades next. Shadowy servants are mine. Base area up fifty percent. Oh, wonderful, the bloody tear is here as well. Can deal critical damage and also absorb his HP. I can't 
can't upgrade the Shadow Servant, but I guess it's alright as a weapon on its own merits. Seven hundred forty. Yeah, I don't think I'm dying anymore. Ooh, but I can't get cocky. Again, I still could lose. The final boss is at twenty-five minutes in. damage up 10. decently strong now. Oh wow, I took a lot of damage and then immediately healed it all up. Candelabra. Candelabra door. Uh, the puns are kind of hit or miss, I think. I do kind of like the progression here, how the flowers uh, trap you in with bosses and more threatening enemies, but near the end, even they begin turning hostile, going after you. And it's something that's still done. It's the snowmen all form a wall around you, try and force you to move it through a maze or deal enough damage to burst through. However, at the end of the stage, they begin becoming hostile as well, going after you. It's a nice effect, I think. I mean, you already took damage by touching them before, so they were ho clearly hostile, but now eventually they lose their patience and decide to quit, so waiting for you to come to them. Oh wow, oh, whoops. Yeah, that Reaper uh, is a little bit annoying. Can't be touching that one. I think the Candelabras are all that's left that it can offer me. Oh no, I've still got a decent amount of accessories. Plus the Lightning Ring. I just hard focus down the ones for upgrades, that's all. Yeah, with it going without upgrades means I really have to make do with what I get because very few characters have anything they can uh, actually use and have anything they can, ways to control what they get, I mean. I mean, it makes sense. Um, a large part of the upgrades allowing you to have some level of control where you get is a huge, huge upgrade, even if you don't have any others. 
but having to deal with what you get, that's a bit more tricky. Alright, the lightning ring is as powerful as it can possibly get. Alright, we're starting to get to the 30 minute mark. Always floor chicken if I'm not max HP. Yeah, by always getting floor chicken, I'm always getting max HP increases. And that is not an insignificant upgrade. One minute to go. 843 HP. Yeah, only the Reaper's gonna be tearing through that. Oh yeah, I forgot. I needed to completely upgrade that to get festive winds. Whoops. I should have upgraded that sooner, huh? I guess I was all, I guess once I had the spells from it was very clear I was going to win, so when that came first, it wasn't as big a necessity that I upgrade it. Well we won. Finally. Right? Hmm. I'm gonna try one more, but if I die, I won't keep going. I wanna try Luminaire. Where has she been before? Let's try the Gallo Tower. Let me grab a sip of my drink and I'll dive in for what's probably gonna be one of the last attempts, if not the. Alrighty, here we go. Once again, no upgrades. I really love her theme. Why don't I play as her more? Uh, whoops. I did accident. Did I forget to silence that? Did I just slurp on stream? Uh, sorry about that, if so. Oh yeah, every time she levels up, she automatically gets a, uh, thing, a uh, cl clear. <laughs> Hate to banish something so early, but I don't want the uh, birds for this particular run. Gallo Tower is primarily a uh, vertical area, like how the inlaid library is primarily uh, horizontal. So the stuff you get has to reflect that to a degree. Part of the world. Actually, might not want to go to the spell for the spell stream this time. Huh? The 
fact her the purple one looks so much like her and seem to be fused into the monster. I admit I can't help but wonder. Bible, please, yes. Hmm. Are they sisters or something? They seem too similar to, for it to be coincidence. You know, the one starts with the, uh... Amarola. Oh, perfect. I actually might want to buy a golden eggs on this character. But not for this run. It's not a big deal, honestly. Silver wind, oh wonderful. Why does the music of this game go so hard? Dang. Crown, perfect. That Eve, that's the evolutionary item. Both of them have to be maxed out, but that's fine. Both are worth maxing out immediately. Crap. I have to remember she's not nearly as overpowered as the other one. I can I can get the spellbinder from this stage, actually. I don't need it. An upgrade chest too. Free King Bibble level. I'll take it. I'm being far more reckless than I should. I'm gonna be completely honest, but feeling good here. I need to go south. I'm not gonna bother with the rings or whatever. the Clockwork Lancet. Missile up. I should probably also play as Garo himself, whom this tower is named after. Uh, spinach, I definitely want just for the energy it gives. The crown absolutely needs to level up. can steal health them. Yeah, the heal there's healing from Silver Wind. Four seasons, sure. There's worse weapons even if I don't upgrade them. Crown is really, really helping me level quickly, and the free uh, clear is also really helping out here. I didn't realize how good this character is, although I would like garlic or something. Or yeah, I absolutely need a. Uh the upgrade on make the King Bibble last longer. 
definitely don't like the red skeleton. It's RNG how long they live. Yeah, the projectiles are getting me. Ah, damn it. Oh, right. She comes with a revive innately. And when I revive, I get a few seconds of this. Oh, empty tome, wonderful. I was worried, but she does at least give me one extra chance to try again. I can't get cocky, though. I've used that up now, unless I get another revival item. I reduced the cooldown so I can get these active more often. Oopsies, oopsies. Ah, uh, dang it. no luck boosts. It's probably gonna be just money from all these. It's gonna be extremely rare I get something good, but not impossible. Oh dear. And I'm a long ways away from the item I need. Damn shrimp. Yeah, this just does- I keep forgetting just how short the King Bible actually lasts if you don't have any upgrades. Probably play as Gar Galo himself, the one whose ta this tower is named after. Uh, him and the one that starts, yeah, the clock, the one who starts with the, uh, basically one of them starts with the clockwork Lancet, and one starts with the, uh, what's it called? Laurel. So you can get some really good stuff there. Oh, that's interesting. I'm not sure I want the armor, but I can come back for it, I think. My build might not be good enough. I might have focused too much on accessories, maybe. Maybe not. There's Mag Missile. Oh no. Well, that's bought me a bit of time, but only so much. think I'm gonna be able to make it. I probably should have grabbed the arm, but then again, with the sheer number here, I'm not sure that would have cut it. Especially since I don't have a way to guarantee the 
King Bibble lasts as long as I need it to. Attract Orb. Crown up. Please let this be the upgrade. Yes! I might have salvaged the run with this. Spellbinder. Yeah, I'm gonna need that. The King Bibble's too important to the build. I can't... But I can do this. And go over my cap. Usual accessory cap. Yeah, it's getting a little can't-see-shit, Captain, but that's fine. I have a weapon that can heal me, after all. Unfortunately, I did miss the ability to upgrade the uh, Four Seasons. Unfortunate, but sacrifices had to be made. Wonderful. Yeah, her max HP is really, really low, so I have to be very careful. Flames of Misspell. Oh yeah, that free clear at level up is really, really helping. There we are. Area up. Not a huge deal, but I really want as many keep away options as I can. I just don't have much health. So I'm trying to play it what I think is safe. At least with these, I've got a lot of keep away options. Appreciate those, but no. Just the King Bibble? Sounds good to me. Spinach, all damage up. No damage boosts, every one that we do get is going to be that much more important to get. No. Uh, shop ones, I mean. Pentagram is a bit too risky, I think. Let's just upgrade the armor. Yeah, this is definitely a can't-see-shit captain, but not nearly as bad as it's been. I know I've played this multiple times where you literally can't see anything.
Oh, well, at least the Banish does give me one last try for a better weapon. I either need higher damage output in another weapon, or just level up the existing ones a bit more. Yeah, increase the damage. Alright, so I can keep that chicken there for when I need it. King Bibble. Yeah, the spinach is really leveling, really helping, I think. Amarola, I need to max out. Alright, this is giving me a bit more breathing room. Yeah, this the level up is really, really much a godsend. I remember it wasn't a huge deal when I had all my upgrades, but it's absolutely essential here. I should also probably level up the armor, if only because uh, I can't take hits. This character's a glass cannon. Eat it all, eat it all, eat it all. Yeah, I needed to get the Attract Orb levels, but I wanted my survival to be insured first. Oh, hey, it's Garo. I believe that you'd have to... Oops. Oh. Huh. There we are, revivals. You have to beat Garo there to unlock him, but he's basically a mini boss that shows up here. Pumarol, okay, now the weapon is good. Free level there, that's good. Yeah, here we are. Holy Vespers, I will take it. At this point, any of the upgrades will be a huge godsend to make this work. Empty Tome maxed out means... Oh, wonderful. This basically means I'll be spamming everything. And of course, thanks to Garlic, these guys' projectiles are nothing. Best of wins. All oh, lowers enemy defenses. I'm not here for money. I'm here to win with no upgrades, prove my superiority, and luck. The rest of the team felt pretty confident if, that was, if my luck was on my side in that session, but... I mean, I'm pretty sure the entire set, everything that happened there was entirely dependent on whether or not I passed that. I know when I started I was warned uh, about a saying about something like uh, failing reflex can hurt you, failing fortitude 
can kill you, but failing will can ruin the entire campaign, and I guess I now know exactly what that means. <laughs> Excellent. I just need another, uh... I don't necessarily have to move with this character. She's not forced like the Yukiona. I need another chest, because if I can upgrade uh, everything... Oh. Oh, well, I will get one once this guy well, it dies. He's fast, oh boy. But I'm faster, apparently. Soul Eater. Another one that can heal me. These guys are annoying. They're getting past my defenses. My damage output simply may not be high enough. But I guess armor will help out. Plus the, uh, you know... Boom. It's a crapshoot whether I'll win still. Even with how well I'm doing now, things could always come in and make it all go to shit. I only have one upgrade left, and it's the fireballs. I don't like those red skeletons since it's RNG whether they revive or not. But I guess we'll get past them soon. The important thing is they're not, they have no chance against me. And no matter how much, and even though I'm taking some pretty chunky hits, I'm also healing pretty chunky, uh, meaty bits again. So not flawless regeneration, but pretty good to keep me alive in a pinch, like Piccolo from Dragon Ball. For the most part, he can regenerate pretty... quite a bit. Not as much as some of the later villains, but always floor chicken because, uh... Yeah. I don't care about money for this run. I care about winning, and I'm going to need as much health as I can possibly get. Oh dear. Oh dear. I really like this character a lot. I need to play as her more. Although, since she was the mysterious benefactor that helped us in the final boss of the second expansion, I suppose it makes sense that she, uh... Would, I think TV tropes cla would classify her as the big good of the, I guess. Or maybe she's just there to try and stop her evil sister, cousin, ro former roommate, from ending the world since the monster there, the description says it'll literally eat the world, and when you play as it, it actually destroys the floor tiles, so I guess that's not an empty threat. And I can respect that, to dedicates to its goals. Crap. Oh, wonderful. Yeah, the chickens heal me really well. Oh yeah. I don't know if I'm gonna win because Garo Tower gets some really, really tough enemies near the timer limit, so... It's possible, but uh, don't be surprised if I end up dying at the last minute. Oops. Actually, I guess I should head on over the chicken just to be safe. Inch over to it, rather. This is a very dangerous uh, game I'm playing.
my damage output might be a little anemic, unfortunately. These are good for keeping regular stuff away, but the boss and stuff will b break past it very easily. Not to mention the light, the, not lightning, the star falls from, are a hazard from the stage itself. <laughs> At least the Hellfire goes through walls and enemies and everything. Probably shouldn't have eaten that, but oh well. The cockatrices are coming. Guaranteed to level up, and that now that means okay, some breathing room will help, I think. Summon Elma Ah. I was wondering if there's a chest there, but no, there's not. At least this means I get a bit of breathing room since these don't actively move towards me under any circumstances. I just need to keep the, uh... Oopsie. I need to keep the chicken in mind. Keep accidentally eating these chickens, I don't mean to, but... I guess it's good to have them. Oh, the giant enemy crab, right? That's the last boss here. I can't go into that water or I'll, die. I'll take damage, so... Guess you're getting nuked from afar, buddy. Approach from below, it'll be easier because it won't have the uh, claws as growing in against me. Yeah, you really gotta take advantage. Uh, yeah, this boss really takes advantage of the Garo Tower setup. If you let it approach you from below, you'll find yourself at a huge disadvantage. But if you approach it from the bottom, you'll find it significantly easier. pretty beefy I see and we're starting to get to the beefy enemies in general actually so this is really rough gotta be careful my damage outputs a little low but my survival is pretty good so I'm hoping it'll win out but it's hard to say if the enemy is getting beefy enough they might not die before they reach before they get past my defenses, that might be troublesome.
<laughs> wow. <laughs> I died. Ah, right, she gets revives at every so often. Here we go. Yeah, that boss did a lot of damage to me, but I survived somehow. Oops. Yeah, I keep accidentally doing that. Oh dear, yeah, the flesh golems are extremely tanky. They are melting, however, I just need to make sure they don't get close to me. We're out of the- the bosses are all dead, and that's the big thing that matters, because I think I might have won here. Oh, but as you can see, yeah, this is the point where it starts to get really nasty. Good news, I still have decent life steal, so even though I take a hit here and there... Okay, wonderful, that's breathing room. And there's a chicken over there I might be able to pull in. Oof, I'm not killing even this mini-boss very quickly. There we are. All right, only one minute to go. Everything is go absolutely everything is coming after me. There we are. Twenty seconds. <sighs> Four, three, two, one. We did it! And I still had a revive to go because of her uh, level ups every so often. Oh, wonderful. Managed to win a couple of rounds with absolutely no upgrades. Wonderful. Phew, well, I'm feeling exhausted, so I think now will be a good time to call it. Alright, well, until next time, thank you for watching. Hope you had a good time, and I'll see you later.